welcome to the University of Utah. Now that you're on campus, you may be wondering, how on earth am I going to find my classes? Well, luckily, the College of Science has the solution. In this video, we'll cover the buildings that make up the College of Science campus, as well as a few helpful navigation tips and resources that will help guarantee your success. First, let's go over how to get around. There are maps everywhere on campus, and you can access them on your phone at map.utah.edu. This is an interactive map that allows you to look up building codes you'll find on your schedule. Once you're in a building, you will find numbers that correlate to the floor you're on. For example, if the room number starts with a 2, it'll be on the second floor. There are resources scattered throughout these floors, so let's go over a couple. In the Crocker Science Center, you'll find a lot of study space options, as well as the Two Creek Cafe on the second floor if you're looking for somewhere to get a treat. We also have the Advising Hive, which has math, chemistry, and general advising for students, as well as a career coach. There's also the Student Affairs Office, which is a great place to get a free snack and get to know some other great people. Just a short walk up President's Circle, we have the James Talmadge Building. This building is home to most of our advisors for biology. A little ways south of President's Circle, we have our biology and chemistry buildings. The South Biology Building, which hosts one of the largest cadaver labs in the nation, also has a large number of biology research labs. The Biology Tutoring Center can be found here in addition to a few study spaces. The Skaggs Building, which is connected to the South Biology Building by this bridge, has a large number of research labs too, as well as the Brio Cafe, which is student-owned. The Henry Eyring Building houses the chemistry department. Many faculty members have offices here, and there is also chemistry advising available. The basement contains a large number of teaching labs for a number of chemistry courses, while the upper floor has lecture halls and study spaces that also have tutoring available. The James Fletcher Building is home of the physics department. It has large lecture halls, study spaces, and a physics help lab with TAs and professors available for a large number of classes. It's next to the South Physics Building, which has an observatory on the roof and weekly star parties that are open to the public. The Cowles Building contains the math department. In addition to math advising and a number of study spaces, it also houses the Math Learning Center, which is a widely utilized resource on campus. TAs are available to help with a variety of coursework, including the entire calculus series. The Frederick Alton Sutton Building is home to the College of Mines and Earth Sciences, as well as advisors for geoscience, biology, earth and environmental science, atmospheric sciences, physics, and astronomy, all located in the Student Ip Center on the first floor. On the second floor, there is also a Student Success Center for math tutoring and a Two Creek Cafe in the attached William Browning Building. Some other helpful buildings that you may encounter on campus are the Marriott Library, the Student Services Building, and the Student Union. If you have need for services such as the Writing Center, Financial Aid, or various centers for supporting women, first-generation students, and so on, you'll likely find them in these places. We're the College of Science Ambassadors, and we're welcoming you to the U!